Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 121 of What's the Pepper series. Today I have a very special variety of pepper to show you. And this is my latest creation. And it is a cross between my sweet star scream chocolate and a lingria. Um, so I don't have a name for it yet. And I have been growing this plant um, for the past few months inside my garage in the tent. So this is the only one that's alive um, because the tent sort of kept it a little bit warmer than uh, sitting outside the garage. I have the parent plant that's set outside the garage and it froze, I'm gonna show you that. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and um, pick some pods. I'll give you a close up look at it and then uh, we'll try it out. Okay, here is a closer look at the plant. So I grew this plant inside a flowering vase for the past few months and here's what the plant looks like. It's very small but very productive. I pulled a ton of uh, flowers off because um, it produced so much that I was afraid the peppers would be small. So I pulled uh, most of them off and then the, the rest were um, uh, fell off because of the cold weather. And what we have left are some really nice looking pots, very good size. And you see the plant is really small, so it's about, you know, maybe six inches or so. Um, the leaves are not looking as good as it should because the weather has just been so crazy. And um, it's a, in the beginning, it's a very beautiful plant uh, with nice lush green leaves. But here are the pods right here, you see. So there's the different ripening pattern and it'll start green like here. And then slowly it will change color like that and it'll go up. And then finally it'll be this beautiful red color right here. And the unique thing about this variety is that um, it has really interesting stingers. You see here? So you see all those stingers, uh, most of them, probably all of them will have them. And uh, a, a few of them, I messed around with them so they fell off, but you see that? That's the, the stinger that you will see on this plant. Pretty interesting. And you see, there it is right here. Those stingers. And is it here? These are the ones that I messed with and they, they kind of fell off. <laughs> but um, see, all of them, we have this little hornet stinger. So very, very cool pepper variety. And let me show you the parent. This is the Lingria. And as you can see, it, it, uh, it's frozen. You see all the leaves are bad, damaged, and I think they're dead. Uh, it was sitting in my garage and that's how cold it was. I mean, it, it's below freezing weather in the garage and it's, it's never been like this before. So, um, yeah, this one probably didn't make it, but maybe I will be able to trim it back somehow and get it to live, but I'm not sure, but the leaves are all dead, but you see the pods, they're all uh, very nice looking, looks dangerous. Uh, this one is actually sweet. I have another one that's red. So, my lingria, uh, some are red and I mean, some are sweet and some are very spicy. This happened to be the sweet one. And you see, uh, the pods are very similar. Uh, this one uh, grows upward. Of course, it's drooping right now because it's, it's basically dead, but it, it should point like this, nice and long with a, a point at the end. And some of them will have stingers as well. So that's the parent. And so back to this guy, we're going to harvest um, this one here. This one's way overripe, very, very soft now. So uh, that one's probably just gonna be for seeds. And uh, I think we'll, we'll try something like this. So here's a good one back here. I'll just pick this one. And another cool feature about this is uh, it has 
uh, Linzo as one of the parents because the Lingria is the Linzo cross with the uh, uh, what was it a uh, Sangria so it has a very long stem uh, on all of these so that's a really cool feature on these guys so I'll pick this one as well because I'm probably gonna take seeds for them okay so let's try this out Okay, here is a closer look at the pod before we cut it open. So, uh, very nice looking. I love the stems. Okay, so uh, we'll cut both of them open and see. I've not had this yet, so I'm not sure how hot or sweet they are. Uh, this one is way ripe. So the skin is, is very dry. Okay, let's cut the fresher one open. And there it is. Very nice color on the inside. The, the wall is very thin. I'm a bit surprised. I was expecting a little thicker. So there's lots of, lots of seeds. So let's give this a smell. Has a very pleasant smell, very tropical. Doesn't, I didn't detect any kind of heat in the, in the, in the aroma. So maybe they're, they're not hot. So um, <laughs> we'll just have to find out. So this one, it looks just like an ordinary dried ripe pod. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, here we are. This is the sweet star scream chocolate crossed with a lingria. And it's just amazing to have something fresh sitting right next to you when you try the pepper in crazy weather like this. <laughs> So I did cheat a little bit. I licked my finger and I, it was a, it was, it has spice in there. So here's the pepper. Let's give it a smell one more time. Uh, the overripe, ripe one has a peppery flavor or aroma to it. Didn't detect any heat or anything. This one's very tropical. Reminds me of, uh, some of the ahi varieties, in a way. Very similar smell to those ahi Thai peppers. Okay, they have that sweet, uh, tropical scent to them. They don't smell too much like a pepper. Okay, so here we are. Um, there, I detect a little heat when I licked my finger, so let's try it. Wow, all, all different flavor bursting out at the same time. A little bit confusing. So, yeah, it's a little chewy texture. First you get this tangy burst. And then you get the heat. Now there's more heat. Wow. Very hot. Tastes similar to the chocolate Linzo in a way. Wow, it's very hot. The heat sort of like gradually build. And then uh, it gets very, very hot. Wow. I'm very surprised by this. Now it's all in my throat. My saliva is thickening up. Yeah, a lot of throat burn. Wow. I guess peppers with stingers is a is a warning. Uh, 
when I get a when I eat something spicy, I always scratch my head. Wow. Whew, it's it's dying down now. Okay, so uh, that's a little bit of a tanginess to it in the beginning. A slight sweetness. It has that sweetness to it. And then the heat takes over. Very nice flavor. I was surprised by the tanginess. I didn't expect any of those. I was expecting just the tropical flavor and then heat. But it has a slight sourness in the beginning. Which makes it very interesting. Whew. So, uh, man, I'm definitely going to grow uh, a few of these. So I have multiple pods that are ready. I'm going to grow one or two from this pod here because of the stinger. Grow one or two from there and grow one or two from there. Even though this pod is not fully ripe, the seeds in here are still good. Just, just let it sit for like a week or so and you know it it'll it'll um the seed will still sprout so semi red pots you can let it sit at room temperature and it will just gradually ripen up and you can still use the seed from that uh not from the green pods green pods are a lot trickier because the seeds are not mature yet so um semi red pods uh, they're okay just let it sit and uh, the seeds will eventually mature and then you will get some germination but the best germination is from pods that are like this completely dried <sighs> so there you have it guys excellent pepper looks amazing to me uh, i love the stingers i love the way it looks um it points down with really nice long stems um which is a, a feature that i really like because they're you know they're easy to harvest when you when the stem is so long you just pull it up and it'll break I think this would be a good pepper to just eat raw, but it's very hot. Uh, I'm definitely going to make some um, uh, chili oil because of the, the when, when the, the ripe texture is, is perfect for that type of, uh, of dishes that I'm going to make, the, the chili oil. And uh, it's also a very, very productive plant. and. Uh, uh, I'm going to try to get more seeds out of this and then spread it around Pepper Lovers community. But I'm going to have to wait uh, maybe another generation or so and, and then uh, come up with a name before I do that because this is just uh, an F1. So anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.